Leaf Chapter 683 review. So my thoughts on this week's chapter of Bleach. Well, if you saw my live reaction on Thursday, you know I could have hated this chapter. So a good amount of this chapter, if not half of it, is just an illusion cre created by Kokos to get to the Vampak Toe of Aizen that he somehow had got back. Now, after Aizen transcended into a god level, and emerged with the Hokioku, his Zanpak toe disappeared, and he said that he was on a, a he was on like a fifth or sixth dimension. He was on a level of power that meant that he was such, on such a level of like I guess such, such a high god level of power that he did not require a Zanpak toe. Now he clearly had one now. So does that mean the Hokioku gave it back to him? Did he? He couldn't have trained while in Mukhen. I'm really not sure. But then again, he said he got stronger while in Mukhen. Everybody said he gets stronger while he's in Mukhen. I don't understand how. Is Ajin just that much of a god now that he could get stronger while in prison? I mean, I really, I don't know. But, okay, but, so he creates an illusion. Renji gets his arm. Renji gets defeated. I don't think that part would be illusion, actually. But, uh. I didn't get, uh, see, I didn't charge it in. This guy does, Yuha does damage Aizen, which, which I do want to point out, no one else has ever done besides Ichigo. The only person to ever damage Aizen was uh, Genryu Stein Yamamoto, who only gave him some burns and scraps. I'm going to point that out. He only gave him some burns and some scraps. <laughs> so besides Ichigo, nobody else has ever damaged this man. And Ichigo didn't really do any serious damage to Aizen, in my opinion, until the Mugetsu. Until they took him out with Mugetsu. So, that really is nothing. But Renji does fight him. Renji does try to attack Nuha. Renji gets taken out. Ichigo gets his arm chopped off and a whole blast is through his chest. So, so I, I was angry. I was pissed off. You should have... You did. You guys, you go watch my live reaction. I was so mad when Ichigo got a when Ichigo was defeated. I was like, Kubo, no, you're not doing this, no way. But so then we see it was all an illusion created by Kokos. Did we get to Ichigo came in and then did a get to Goten show and annoyed Yuha. Now two problems with this. One, why is Yuha even counting on a fight with Aizen? Like, why are they even fighting in the third place? Why did Yuha not get killed Aizen while he was in Mukhen? That would have been the smart thing to do, right? Would have been to figure out, figure something out. That he should have figured out something he could do to Aizen while he Aizen was trapped in Mukhen and he was helpless to defend himself. But no, Yuha didn't care. I mean, he seemed to want to fight Aizen. So I wonder, I have a question for you guys. Wait, okay, so let's go over Yuha's plan here. Yuha's plan. You are planning to invade the Soul Society, retreat, invade the Soul Society again, invade the Soul Palace, kill God, eat, eat God, and then go back to the Soul Society and fight Aizen. I'm just as confused as you guys are. I don't understand this plan. Like, I don't understand. Like, why would he want to fight the one man that can kill him? I don't get it. The one man that could beat him, he wants to fight. And Aizen is incredibly confident still. He's still on this whole, my, this is my soul society crap. He's still on that. So, there's that. But, I mean, it really, and then there's the fact that uh, Ichigo, Ichigo gets to go to surprise him. From the minute he entered the Mukhead and had that conversation with Aizen where he asked him, to become one of his war potentials, and he would pretty, and I didn't pretty much told him, screw off, no, I, I could, I could get less of a crap about you, but from that moment on, he should have known that this was going to happen, Yuha can see the future, I don't understand this, if he can see the future, how can that be, how can he not know this would be outcome, did he let, uh, I guess you could say he let the Getsu Gotenshio hit him. By the way, Getsu Gotenshio, that alone is a sin, in my opinion. <laughs> Come on, Kubo. It's a new Bond guy. Something, something new. Please, Kubo. Something new. 
something besides that gets your attention, for the love of God. No, but, I mean, so, nothing really happened. I mean, this chapter, the only thing that really happened was, we got a ton of, uh, troll drama. A ton of trolling, because uh, all these terrible epics and things, all these things that we thought were happening, didn't actually happen. Then it's your land to get to Gotensio. There, I summarized the chapter. Some people are even hypothesizing that Renji wasn't even there, which is hilarious. I find that a little hilarious. Some people are just like, Renji isn't even worth being there. Now, Ichigo had to officially acknowledge Aijin's presence. Some people were speculating maybe he wasn't paying attention to that that Aizen was there. I'm, but we, no. He knows Aizen's there. Aizen and Ichigo are working together, which I love. I love how they're not speaking to each other, though. It's like, they do not like each other, and they are not speaking to each other. They're just, they are going to kill Yuha. It's all, they both have a common goal, and that's what did that is that Yuha Bok needs to die. Because Yuha Bok tried to kill God, and now wants to destroy the soul society. But yeah, I mean, I, if I had to rate the chapter, I only want to rate it. I'm not even going to rate it. I thought it was an okay chapter. I mean, I, I it, it kind of bugs me that, that we got that gigantic troll with all those events being fake. But then again, that's Aizen for you. It happened a lot during the fake Karakuta Town arc. That's nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't troll people. But guys, if you enjoyed my review of the Fleet Chapter, subscribe and like the video. Definitely, you definitely want to subscribe because I'm going to be reacting to and reviewing the, the last couple chapters of Bleach. I don't know how long they'll be, but there'll definitely be a review next week. I'm sorry this review is late. Things happened. This was not my top priority. But God, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Wimpy Nation. Signing out. Peace.